burning a paper plate towards a new art. 1.1. Revelation. I used to paint with paint. Now I paint with food. See infinity in powdered turmeric or a soy sauce stain. A splash of red wine or lingam's 100% chilli sauce. A mild piquant relish. An appetizer of delightful flavour, though problematic drying time. I use the mess of life and make it messier, burn to bring out individual qualities of various dried fluids. But working with these remnants, am I negotiating yet another novel strategy, or is there a chance to see beyond artifice before habit closes the door again? 1.2. Way out of an impasse. Don't paint with paint, paint with food! Use it gratuitously like some swear word. 1.3 Artist, are you lost? If so, find yourself in a paper plate. Forget canvas and support. The paper plate can take care of all your needs for stretcher surface, also food, being a receptacle for it and all things of culinary wonder. Fabulous. Beautifully beautifully read there steve thank you for that so that's the first three segments of the of the chat book yes uh, uh, the chat book has a theme obviously um and the poems can be read as you like them but if you read them in sequence a kind of story unfolds and when i was talking to dan earlier about this idea of epiphany there is a kind of play on epiphany and perhaps the question that you know i mean everyone takes anything from a piece of music or selection of poems but if people say is he serious without being able to make their mind up whether i am or not then that's kind of entering into what i feel about my poetry because one day i'll write stuff i think this is crazy mm. you know this is taking you know it, it, it's looking at art in a way that's criticizing it taking you know mm. uh, an askance view of it and the other times I'm thinking I am really serious about this is this is a new form of art you know this is going to change art and mm. then you think don't be daft <laughs> <laughs> but you are you are a painter yourself as well which I, I've, I'm reading your sort of info I, I assumed you'd given up painting and poetry had become your new medium but you're still you're still painting and yeah yeah I mean I, I was a traditional figurative painter until you know the, the, the mid mid 80s where I was producing a lot of figurative works I had work put in the National Museum of labour history it was often quite political and then I came to an impasse which uh, coincidentally was on Black Wednesday when I had a private view one night and, then, and it, no one was there you know everyone was checking their bank balances okay. and then that was oh, it right. um, so I restudied as an art historian and through that I started reading artist manifestos and uh, people writing about their impasses and how through thinking things through they could start making art again and that kind of fed into my art eventually and then uh, an epiphanal moment that you'll hear about in the next poem occurred and then suddenly I was making art again and then because I was writing the art history degree and the MA I thought well let's not write why not write a manifesto which then turned into a poem and then mm -hmm. for a few years you know they were working side by side and now I feel that, that both are kind of working off each other which is great mm. well let's hear that let's hear the next segment then as a, that's a nice little lead into to that section 1.4 Exhibition in the market, or why I decided to burn a paper plate for art. South London on the second day of October 2004. A red bus runs after a setting sun on Brixton Road. I walk to an exhibition somewhere in Brixton Market. I pass stalls, their shutters down. I see food-stained newspapers on the ground. I smell fish and rotten vegetables, and then I hear a hum. And round a corner, I find the exhibition. I light a cigarette, smoke it before going in, watching it burn, breathing it in. The smoke and the atmosphere of the place, the art I can't remember now, free wine, a few friends. I left after a while. And on my way home, I wondered why, why art paled next to the sight of food-stained newspapers on floors at night. I turned a corner, I saw the light. The supermarket was still open. 
I walked in, looked on the shelves. I knew what I wanted, wrapped in plastic, but not plastic, but paper. They came in packs of different sizes. I chose the small size. Why had no one done this before? The potential for transformation to hold all the oil on canvas couldn't. I ran home. A frantic confusion of fumbled keys, closing doors, opening wrappers followed until I was ready to light a candle, pour a glass of wine, take a sip, place a paper plate under it, on a piece of newspaper, tip the glass until a drop fell, splashed, and that was that, the start of it. I stared in wonder at the purple splashed circle, splattered round the edges with tiny drops flying off towards the sides. It was beautiful, beautiful. I raised it, placed it above the candle, waited. Slowly, the wine turned colour from purple. Stains appeared like brown stars. I was transfixed, transfixed by the transformation of it from every made material into something else of this world but more than it more than oil on canvas can allow this burnt and stained paper plate was something to be worshipped at last and now p.s anyone can burn a paper plate but please be cautious it can be dangerous fantastic that was great stuff the sound of um steve rushton uh, reading from Burning a Paper Plate Towards a New Arc.